Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make my little scarecrow. Here he is in all his glory. So, and I'm going to be using some new bands. They're silicon bands by a company by the name of Trend X Loom. And uh, they have some really fabulous colours that I was really excited about. And um, so I, they are silicon, they're hard to stretch, um, but I think they do a wonderful job. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using those. So I'll talk you through what I'm going to be doing. Um, single loom, we're going to have it in the offset configuration, which means columns one and three are slightly lower than column two. And let me talk you through, we're going to be double banding, so it is quite thick. Now, this is the company, Trend X Loom. They come in these beautiful little baggies. And if you look on the back, it says each bag contains three unique coloured silicon loom bands, 12 S clips and a plastic hook. And that's true. So the colours that I'm going to use for my little um, scarecrow, this one is Earth, which I just think is the most beautiful dark rich brown. It's absolutely lovely. I'm going to use a couple of the khaki for his necktie. I'm using white for his shirt. Um, I'm going to use, this is I believe okra. Yep, okra yellow for his little jacket. And then I'm just using, uh, I've got brown. I think these are a Lucky Loom brown or actually a DIY brown even. And then also uh, Loom Bands light coffee for his skin tone. Now, if you don't have these bands, which I'm sure some of you don't, um, you can use anything really that is the right color for you. You could use the mango yellow, mango orange, white, black, the rainbow loom brown, um, caramel for the hat, it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm also using two of the mini pony beads for his eyes. They're a seven millimeter by four millimeter in black. If you don't have those, again, it doesn't matter. You can use bands and wrap them around your hook. So let's get started. We're going to start by doing the arms and I'm going to do one with you. You will need to do two double banding and we're going to start by placing four pair down this right hand column like that take another two We do three here and then we'll loop it across to here with another two. Take a single band. You can see these are a bit twisted on themselves. I'm just going to run my hook around to straighten those out. Now these are, as I said, are silicon, so they're hard to stretch. So I'm going to do a figure eight with one on my hook and place it on this peg and stretch it up to here. It saves the fingers. Do the same for the next one, and the same for this one. Now we're going to have five brown bands, single. Stretch it, twist it into a figure eight and loop it on itself. And we're going to do five of these. One, two, three, four, five, and an end cap, single band, wrap it once, twice, three times, and pop that on the end here. You need to loop this up, Push the crossover band back with the back of your hook so that you have access to just those two bottom bands. Move across, you need to take two of the bands, poke your hook down, out through the side and pull these two bands through. We are not tying this off, we're just using these to help us take this off our loom. Gently ease 
off the loom and you're going to keep this on a holding hook until we're ready now if you would like to make another one so you have two and we keep them on a holding hook as I said until we're ready to put them on the body all right so let's get started we're starting by his with his hat as I said I'm double banding the open part of the peg is facing towards you so two bands for double banding placed on the loom together as if they were one push things down and I have to admit when I purchase bands I, I my preference is always has always been the rainbow loom brand but when I'm restricted by color choices I do I do go elsewhere and these colors were just uh, screaming out at me they they're superb so I'm using the earth tone for the hat. I'm going to put a couple of these light coffee by Loom Bands on. They're sort of a straw colour and that's what I'm looking for for obviously his face. Now I have the brim of his hat. The brim of his hat, I want to go on top of these bands. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift these ones off. And what you're going to do is take a single brown band, wrap it once and twice, and slide onto a pair, and slide onto another pair. Okay. And the way we're going to position these is you're going to put one side of the loops up here in a holding spot the other side is going to sit here like that and then you will put this on top all right the order is quite important because you want that brim to capture either side of his head so one and two let me show you what I mean so the brim is here on the outside of the head otherwise it's going to look a bit odd slide your first pair on and your second pair and as I said the first pair go here the second here and now put these on top again like so you're also going to want to have a crossover band there I'm going to use the brown and I'm going to put it across like that and I'm going to put the um, the light coffee here. I'm going to do light coffee from the center to the right and from the center to the left. I'm going to put another band here. Now on this band I'm going to to twist this band. So what I'm going to do take it off a second here, put it on the end of my hook and twist it once, twice and three times and pop that back. It doesn't have to go above here because the eyes are going to go above there. So you've twisted that over three times. Now what we're going to do is take a pair of beads. If you don't have beads, remember what I said, you can use a black band. Twist it once, twice, three times that is equal to one bead so you do it twice unless you want a one-eyed scarecrow which you might <laughs> slide them onto your band of choice now I'm using the light coffee because that's a straw color that I could get and you stretch that across now this is where the crossover band bit comes in we lift the center part up and pop that over this peg here all right so that's his little face now we don't really need those yet what we're going to do next is use some of the khaki for his neck i'm going to put these bands away so i've got some room so with a couple of khaki i'm going to go two here now i'm only using two because they're silicon they're very strong bands but if you're not using silicon and you're using rubber you might like to do three 
at that spot. It gives the neck a bit of strength. So khaki, two khaki here, two khaki, two khaki. As I said, you can use three in that neck area. I usually do if I'm using rubber bands. Try and make it so that your bands are not twisted. I think it looks nicer when they're not. We're just doing those for the khaki, just to break it up a little bit. We're going to have a few white bands for his shirt. Again, pairs. And we're going to do four pair down here. I'm going to take a single black band, wrap it around my hook like that in a figure eight, and I'm going to place that on this peg here. So it's in the middle of those white bands. All right. Next, we're going to use the okra. Get that untwisted. There we go. And we're going to pop the okra all the way down to the bottom of this loom. And the trick when you're working with silicon is to always work within the, the limits of your bands. So if you're following a tutorial and you know that the person who's doing the tutorial is using rubber bands and you're using silicon bands and they say, now do an end cap and wrap this round three or four times and there's just no way that you can because your band is too tight. That's the point. You want the band to be tight. So if you can only wrap it around twice... Fabulous. That's that's just as good. Don't worry about it. All right, we're going to put crossover bands over in the shape of a triangle over the three pegs like this. We're going to do the um, wooden stake that he has here. I'm going to take some brown bands. As I said, these are the, I believe they're DIY. They might be, no, they're loom bands. Loom bands brown. Take a single, they're rubber. Wrap it once, twice, and three times. So you have four loops. If you were using silicon, you wouldn't be able to do that. We're taking two bands at a time and sliding on. And we're doing this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six, one last pair, seven, and you're going to pop that on the end right here. It's actually going to act as our end cap as well. So let's add our arms. Now, if you have a look, you have this part on the top, whereas this part is on the, on the bottom more. So I'm aiming for this to be on the top. So I'm going to put, instead of just putting both loops, both pair of loops on the same 
pin peg I'm putting two here and then the other two the other two loops I'm going to put below it all right so he's like a, a little scarecrow with his arms out it just makes it a bit wider I'm going to do the same here I want to make sure that this part is at the top and I will put two and make sure it's facing the right way then the other two like that okay so I have my arms on we're going to do the little frilly bit for his skirt or for the jacket I mean the the uh, flare to his jacket as we move up so dig down here past this brown band you're grabbing the two top bands and you have to loop these down here to this bottom peg and you're going to do the same grab the next two and they go down to their peg here and let's loop this one up the center we're going to dig down and grab these two bands and loop up and we will do the same here and loop up now this is where we're going to do a bit of fancy footwork and it is a bit tricky but I think it looks nicer if you see it sort of it fits in it's not on top of this it it all sort of merges a, f a far nicer way so take two bands and poke your hook through where we were here you're going to draw those two bands up reclaim the end and chain another pair onto them like so with that other pair you're going to still hold one side with your hand and the other on your hook you're going to grab that crossover band with your hook and then reclaim the end of those bands all right take another pair and now we have to draw these two through all of that it might help you to turn your loom over to the side so draw these through like that and you're going to put another pair of bands in a chain whoopsie through these if I can get my hook on them <laughs> all right let's draw that through as well like so now make sure that the crossover band stays where it is you're going to put one end of the loops on here hold the other two out with your fingers all right dig down here and you're going to loop up you're then going to loop this on top of that and loop push back so you're finding the bottom two bands and loop up that's now secured into place now we have to do the same this side sorry <laughs> so dig down through this part here which this is the easy bit drag a pair of bands through you're going to take another pair of bands if you can get them separated <laughs> drag them through don't reclaim just yet you're going to hold one side with your hook one side with your fingers grab that crossover band with your hook now reclaim okay grab your next pair of bands that's a horrible one let's grab a new one and you're going to drag those two through and reclaim make sure this crossover band stays where it where it needs to where its little home is grab another pair of bands and drag through one end this end that your finger is holding on to is going to sit on that peg there the other you're going to take off your hook and hold with your fingers out to the side dig down here and find those two bottom bands there we go so I'm doing it sideways <laughs> loop them up put these bands back and lock them into place so they're secure like that we'll loop up loop up loop up get to this black band you're going to go under those white bands at the bottom grab your hook onto the black band 
and pull it to the back side of the peg and forward and then you just keep looping up until we get to the khaki coloured band so we'll stop at the end of the white dig down we're going to loop up to the arms here's our first arm now there's a lot of bands here so push things down you're going for the bottom two bands loop them up and then loop the two khaki bands to the neck let's do the same this side so here we are at the arms dig down find those two bottom bands loop up sorry didn't mean to hit the camera find the two khaki bands and loop up and then the centre. Don't forget that because otherwise things will come apart. Dig down, grab those bands and loop up. Now we're doing the face. If you find that your bands are getting a bit tangled, I just run my hook around the outside of the peg and it loosens it up. Okay. So the next little tricky bit is the brim of the hat. You're going to loop up all of the skin tone. And then stop. Push things down. Take these two top bands off and place them on top like that. Take the two bands off and place them like that. Make sure they're not twisted, they need to be straight on. Dig down, find the two brown bands, lock it into place. Lock it into place. We're going to grab two of the light coffee bands, push your hook down, grab and pull back up to the back side of the peg, up and over and pull tight in a slip knot. Now we're going to take him off our loom. I'm using the back of a hook. I feel it helps me ease the pressure of the bands when I'm taking it off. The last thing I want is for all the bands to break. So I don't usually rip things off unless I know I've just got sort of two bands on a peg at a time. If there's multiple, I'll always try and be a bit gentle. Take him off the loom, stretch him into shape. Now, what we're going to do is using the light coffee, which is my colour that I chose for his skin tone, um, I'm going to thread bands through. So I'm going to take three and I'm going to go through his hand here wherever I like really. Now these will not be knotted in, they are just being pulled through. So if you're giving to a small child, be aware that they are not secured. Okay, then I'm taking two and I'm going to go through a little bit further up on the stick for his arm, for his hand, like that, and do the same the other side. Three at the top here. 
if you are making this for a young child you might want to knot these into place two down here so now what we're going to do is just take these single bands and thread them through his head I'm just going in these little bands on the side here and pulling one through and tying it in a little slip knot and you can do as many or as few of these as you like really one there and we'll do another one here and it doesn't matter if they're messy because it's straw, straw is messy do one here And you can do, as I said, as many or as few as you like. What I tend to do afterwards is just snip them. Snip the ends here to the desired length. I mean, I might want them long or I could do them um, a little bit shorter. Really doesn't matter. It's completely up to you how you, what, what length you want these. For the ones on the arms, I'm just going through and chopping them like that. As I said, please remember, these just pull out. So um, don't let a little one play with them. Put them in their mouth or something like that. It would be um, a bit disastrous. Or for that matter, an animal. You don't want a, an animal choking on um, a loom band. But uh, there you go. There is my little scarecrow. I really hope you enjoy making him. Take care. Bye-bye.